How you doing, Jersey? Welcome to a sort of grim and slightly creepy Ledger Live. I'm standing here on the shores of the Passaic River, where there's been some really grim finds recently. The body of a two-year-old child, apparently dug up from a cemetery in Connecticut, was found just south of where I'm standing. The same day, the body of a 44-year-old woman was plucked from the water. This comes on the heels of another incident in which a guy took his niece and jumped off the bridge, committed suicide and a murder-suicide. Now, I don't want to be macabre about this. These are terrible tragedies. But these incidents really have shined a light on the sort of dark and mysterious nature of the Passaic River. You know, it runs through our backyards, literally, but it's very much forgotten still. It's very much a dumping ground. And I thought, who better to talk about all this with than Wheeler and Tabanos? He has written extensively about the river. He has plied its waters like nobody else in his canoe. He has walked its banks. And that's just what we did. This is Wheeler Adabanyas, a Montclair writer who produced this YouTube video, along with a special edition of Weird New Jersey magazine, in which he documents his exploration of the filthy shoreline, toxic waste dumps, abandoned factories, and homeless camps along the Passaic River. Wheeler knows this river like maybe nobody else, but he's more of a nihilist than an environmentalist, and he revels in the often dark human stories told by the river's filth and decay. For like two years, this is what I did. I just came out here, and aside from actually going out on the river, I went on the shoreline and looked, to see what I could find, all the weirdness, all the weird stuff. I love coming here like in the middle of nothing. And the best part is that it's in the middle of everything. Smell the garbage, smell the pollution. You know, it's amazing that the fishermen would pick out that one bag that happened to have the two-year-old in it. I mean, we could start opening up stuff right now. Who knows what we'll find? No matter what you find out here, Wheeler says, there's a story behind it. Man, if you took all the balls from the Passaic River at any given time, you could fill up a gymnasium with it easily, I'm sure. Where do they come from? How do they get here? <laughs> I mean, did all these people lose these balls while they were playing baseball? <laughs> you know, how many baseball games are there? Oh, here's a find. What's in this? Oh, iPod. Ooh, dreidel. Haha, <laughs> don't leave home without it. Perfectly good DVD player. Wow. And when we find things like this on the shore of the Passaic River, some people would clean it up. But I like to throw it in the water. Because you know what? There's no saving the Passaic River anyway. Nice spine for you. That's probably like a deer human, you know. This was someone's wall at their house when there's their stairs right over there, you know. It just ends up here in the Passaic River, like all our other trash. And the people Wheeler runs into along the river? Well, there's not a lot of them, except for the people who live in homeless camps like this one along the river. The best part about uh, canoeing out here is that you rarely see people either. You know, you come out for a day of canoeing, pretty much have the whole river to yourself. If you find something, it's gonna be your find. It's so polluted and it's so forgotten by the people who live around it because we live in this sprawl and it just sort of goes through it all. And you can't really get to the Passaic River that easily. Like we took a trail to get here that no one walks on. You know, it's in an abandoned factory and it comes out onto this shoreline that you can barely navigate. So when people want to dump a body or when people want to like kill somebody and get rid of the evidence, this is the perfect place to come. It's beautiful though. I mean, if this was inhabited, if there was like fishermen lining the banks or boaters going up here, I would never come here. I come here because it's empty, because it's desolate, it's abandoned. It's beautiful that way, man. I don't want to see the river saved. From the shoreline of the Passaic River, that wraps up today's Ledger Live. Take it easy, Jersey.